Now to some other headlines we are following for you this Sunday evening. A 14-year-old boy has lost his life after he was shot and killed following a birthday party in Camden. NBC 10's Leah Uko joins us live from the scene with more on this story. Leah. And Ted, detectives with Camden County Police Department, they are investigating the shooting now. Uh, the small detail, small amount of details that they know so far is that they got this call around 930 last night. The victim, we're told, was attending a birthday party. Here's where. Take a look. This happened at Elks Lodge, we're told, on the 1800 block of Mount Ephraim Avenue, Ephraim Avenue. Medics got there very quickly. They took this 14-year-old boy to Cooper University Medical Center. Unfortunately, that's where he was pronounced dead just after 10 o'clock. Now, detectives of Camden County County Prosecutor's Office, a homicide unit, along with the police department, they got to the scene very quickly, locked it down, uh, surveyed the area, talked with some people, but we don't know what all was said. I've been talking to a lot of friends of this young boy, but of course they're minors, so we can't uh, disclose any of the details on camera, what they're saying, but they're all speaking very highly of the young boy and say that this is shocking, that he minded his own business, and it is, of course, unfortunately unfair that a another young life uh, was taken. So we're trying to work on more details uh, to speak with the family, hopefully later tonight after we get confirmation on who this young man uh, was. I've spoken off camera with the sister who did confirm he is her brother. The family, of course, devastated. Trying to work to see if we can speak with them later on tonight. But as far as we know right now, the victim was 14 years old. Happened at the Elks Lodge last night around 930. Hopefully we'll have more details later tonight. Until then, Ted, I'm going to send it back to you in the studio. We're reporting live from Camden County. Leah Uko, NBC 10 News. Heartbreaking loss for that family. Leah, thank you so much.